This week on Cougar Media News. We take a look at Veterans Day. And we take a look at what Rochambeau is all about. Cougar Media News starts now. Don't sell your dreams so soon. PHS, this is Ava Lindemuth and JC Harrison bringing you this week's episode of Cougar Media News. Last Friday, students got to learn more about Veterans Day and its importance. Dane Braden, Tori Hepler, and Amanda Gettle attended this event and are here with the details. Veterans Day happened last Friday, November 11th. Many different planning and coordination took place to make this event happen for PHS students to get an inside look at the military. My role in planning Veterans Day was to get in touch with my contact at Fort Indian Town Gap. My husband works there, um, and so I met our recruiter uh, during the summer, and she came up with some great ideas of different things that we could do. So my role in the military right now is a recruiting and retention NCO, so that means it is my responsibility to help somebody learn about the military and then join if that's what they want to do. Students, if you don't have a direct connection to someone in the military, uh, you're kind of away from it. So I think it's important uh, when kids see members of the military out in public at the grocery store um, that they understand that these people have a whole you know, story that goes with them. You shouldn't count yourself out from doing it. It isn't something that's too hard, too challenging, that it's something that anybody can be successful at. And I think also not to be intimidated because we're not robots, we're regular people that you can come talk to, don't be intimidated by us and don't think that you aren't able to do this. Today I learned that there are many financial benefits and you can get into college free. And along with that, there are many things that you can strengthen in mentally and physically. We learned that veterans get good health benefits. I learned that there's more jobs than you think and it's not just all combat fighting. This has been Dane Braden, Amanda Gettle, and Tori Hepler reporting, reporting for Cougar, Cougar Media News. News. Thank you to everyone who organized the event and the veterans who presented to students. And thank you veterans for your service. Student Council will be hosting a Rochambeau, essentially a rock, paper, scissor competition day on November 21st this year. Let's find out more. Student Council is hosting a Rochambeau competition on November 20th. Here's what to expect. Students will receive a pair of beads as they walk into school. Students can challenge anyone to a Rochambeau game. If you're challenged, you must play the game. After winning a game, you can receive the beads of the person that you challenged, vice versa. If you have no more beads, you can no longer participate. The person with the most beads at the end of the day wins. And make sure you don't disrupt class. I would definitely be eating rock, paper, scissor. Last Wednesday, the school hosted a fall decision day to recognize all the fall athletes who have committed to playing a sport in college. Lydia Harner and Simone Bucher were able to attend the event and are here with some highlights. College Commitment Day occurred Wednesday, November 8th. Ten of Fulmire's seniors throughout all seasons in sports committed to ten different colleges, all furthering their athletic and academic careers. My name is Madison Blau. I'm going to Miss Cordy University and I'm going to play field hockey. Hi, my name is Olivia Gain. I'm going to Queens University to play field hockey. I'm Keely Bowers. I'm going to Monmouth University and I'm playing field hockey. I'm Peyton Kane. I'm going to Slippery Rock University and I'm playing field hockey. Signing Day is a national event that takes place twice a year for the different seasons of athletics. A big thanks to our athletic department for setting this up for PHS. Congratulations to our seniors. Addison Shawley for field hockey, Peyton Bean for field hockey, Maddie Blout for field hockey, Alyssa Dugan for field hockey, Liv Gain for field hockey, Peyton Kane for field hockey, Keely Bowers for field hockey, Morgan Lance for lacrosse, Aiden Mahaffey for tennis, and Tyler Mahaffey for tennis. 
Best of luck in your futures. This has been Simone Booker and Lydia Harner reporting for Cougar Media News. What's up, PHS? It's Maddie Witt bringing you an inside look at the Firaki team and some highlights from their semifinal game on Tuesday night that locked in their position for the state championship game tomorrow. Girls took on Hershey on Tuesday night. Hershey had a goal in the first quarter, but the Cougars fought back with the goal scored by Hadley Hoffsmith to tie up the game 1-1. One -one. The Cougars held 1-1 one -one for the majority of the whole game with the ball in their possession. Cougar goals were scored by Jovi Weaver and Addie Shawley in the fourth quarter. Shawley's goal off the penalty corner secured the Cougars' win. The Cougars still have business to take care of and bring home the gold against Villa Maria in the final faceoff for the state championship title. Come out on Saturday to support the girls. Congratulations to all of our seniors pursuing sports in the future. Are you interested in becoming a teacher? If so, there's a prime time for you. Zach Risser met with Mr. Myers to get the inside scoop. Future educators is a prime time meant for students to get hands-on experience dealing with teaching. So the name of the prime time is uh, Future Educators, and we basically do it every uh, every other week, twice a month for prime time, and allow the kids to come in and experience what it's like to be a teacher. Most beneficial parts, we usually focus on like just kind of introducing them to, you know, the idea of special needs and individuals with special needs, uh, different tools that they could have as teachers. Uh, my name is Shan Shuddy. Um, I've always liked the idea of teaching, and I just like to learn some stuff before I go to college. That way I have a bit of a background knowledge into it when I go into teaching. Well, I've always liked helping others, mostly younger people, um, just with anything, and I feel like teaching is one of the greatest ways to do that. It really is an exciting experience, and people can get a lot out of it. And this is Zach Grisser reporting for Cougar Media News. If you're interested in joining the primetime, make sure to sign up next Wednesday. Students have lots of choices at PHS when it comes to selecting classes. For students who are looking to get college credits while attending high school, dual enrollment courses could be the best option. Staff members Ash Jordy, Andreas Katalis, and Drew Harner talked to Mrs. Markulik to investigate about what these classes are about. To allow students to get a head start on college credits, college courses are offered here at the high school. They cost less than regular college classes and also count towards high school classes as well. So we have the college and the high school, high school courses available for students in 11th and 12th grade um, in, in the core areas, which would be math, English, science, and social studies. I took Hack English because I want the college credits and it's cheaper than like an actual college course. A variety of classes are supplied, including English, environmental science, algebra, chemistry, and U.S. history. Students can sign up for these courses during the course selection time, um, which will be in February. So students who will be juniors or seniors next year, we encourage them to have those discussions with their counselors. So it gives them a head start on college level work. I think it helps them um, understand what a college course entails before they spend money to go to a two or four year school after they graduate. In addition, they're earning credit towards their college education. Um, at a cheaper rate. So the high school tuition rate is cheaper than it would be if you would graduate and take the college courses at college. PHS offered U.S. history in the past, but due to a shift in teaching staff, students had to take this course directly through Hack. Next year, we're hoping to bring back the Hack U.S. history. I don't know at this point. We offer them as a great way for students to earn college credit and get a head start on their college education. Um, we have students who will use these credits to transfer into four-year programs um, and take some of that tuition cost off of their programs when they graduate high school. If you want to save money on college tuition and gain college credits while in high school, sign up for the HAT classes when class registration for next year begins. This is Ash Yorty, Andreas Kotzlis, and Drew Harder reporting, reporting for, for Cougar, Cougar Media, Media News. News. If you're interested in these hack dual enrollment classes, talk to your counselors or one of the teachers. On November 4th, the Krypton Cougars robotics team competed in one ramp riot in Philadelphia, winning two out of the three final matches. Then this weekend, on November 11th, they competed at Brunswick Eruption in New Jersey, winning both finals. Congratulations to the Krypton Cougars on these exciting wins. Now we're with Amanda with November's Teacher of the Month. I'm here with Teacher of the Month. Mr. Showalter. How long have you been teaching, Mr. Showalter? I've been teaching for six years. What classes do you teach? I teach American cultures, world history, anthropology, and world religions. What is your favorite part about being a teacher? My favorite part about being a teacher is getting to work with students on a daily basis and getting to share my passion with history with them. What is your favorite hobby? My favorite hobby is playing basketball or just watching any type of sports. What is one interesting fact about you? 
an interesting fact is I am a volunteer firefighter. I've been doing that about 10 years. Thank you. Congratulations, Mr. Showalter, and also congrats to Libby Applegate for winning Rotary Club Student of the Month. Do you have any clothes that you're looking to get rid of or in need of something to keep you warm this winter? If so, check out the Career Closet. Jules Couts provided us with more information about how the Cougar Closet works. The Cougar Closet has been a thing at PHS for many years, and not many students know what it is. The Cougar Closet is used for students who need clothes without having to go home. We have the Cougar Closet to provide kids with clothes so that they don't have to leave and they can get them here. The clothes that are in the Cougar Closet are donated by teachers and students throughout the school. The Cougar Closet is available to any student who needs to grab clothes at any time throughout the day. The Cougar Closet is helpful because it provides an opportunity for people to get rid of old clothes that they don't want and provide students who need clothes with fresh wardrobe. All students can help out by donating to the Cougar Closet. They are looking for any type of clothes, but more specifically, comfortable clothes and things people would want to wear around the school. People can access the Cougar Closet anytime throughout the day. The Cougar Closet is located outside the gym in the atrium. This has been Jules Couts reporting for Cougar Media News. Make sure to check out the Cougar Closet if you're in need or want to donate clothes. Now over to Lauren O'Brien with this month's Cougar Countdown. What's up PHS? This is Lauren O'Brien bringing you this month's Cougar Countdown. The Country Music Awards took place on November 8 at Nashville's Bridgestone Arena. The awards recognize country music's greatest stars. Many unexpected artists dominated these categories with Lainey Wilson winning CMA's Best Entertainer, Luke Combs' Fast Car winning the Best Single, and Chris Stapleton winning Best Male Vocalist. In response to Israeli accusations that Hamas is utilizing medical facilities as command centers to plan assaults, U.S. President Joe Biden declared that Gaza's hospitals must be protected. Both hospital heads and Gazian health officials deny that Hamas fighters lurk beneath the hospitals. 146 days ago, a Hollywood strike started. The strike caused significant disruptions to the film and television industries, resulting in the cancellation of numerous productions both domestically and internationally. Additionally, interviews and red carpet appearances promoting recent productions would be prohibited for striking actors. On September 26, actors and film writers came to an agreement to end the strike. That's all I have for you this month, PHS. Now back to Ava and JC at the desk. Thanks, Lauren. Everyone is excited for Thanksgiving. Cam hosted a game show to test students' Thanksgiving knowledge. It's turkey. It's turkey. Yeah, that's right. All right, oh, so it's, it's one zero, one zero of them, okay? <laughs> what state was the first Thanksgiving feast held in? A, Delaware, B, Massachusetts, or C, Connecticut? <laughs> Delaware. No. Bro, <laughs> Massachusetts. Yeah. Oh. Which year did the first Thanksgiving <laughs> take place? A, 1577, B, 1618, or C, 1621. <laughs> 1621. Yeah, that's right. Yeah! Which event do 3.5 million people attend on Thanksgiving every year? Is it A, the Lions versus Packers game, <laughs> B, the Macy's Day Parade, or C, the Target Black Friday? Hey, Macy's Day Parade. That's right. Let's <laughs> go! <laughs> True or false? A pumpkin is a vegetable. Sure. Whoa. How long did the first Thanksgiving feast last? A, three days, B, a week, or C, one day? It's a week. Three days. Three days. Week, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> On everything? If oh, you no, stop. Oh, yeah. God, it's green. I'm... Okay. You know what? Oh, it's time. Be quicker with it. Be quicker oh, with it's it. time. <laughs> How many pilgrims were at the first Thanksgiving harvest in 1621? A, 100, <sighs> B, 28, or C, 53? 53. What year did a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving debut on television? A, 1973, B, 1969, or C, 1970? 
1973. That's <laughs> 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 Thanksgiving break just around the corner, staff members Drew Hunter, Ash Shorty, and Andreas Katalis walked around to see what everyone is grateful for this holiday season. Today, we're going to walk around and ask people what they're thankful for. What are you thankful for? My friends. What are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? My girlfriend. Oh, that boy got W Riz. What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for basketball. What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for my family. What are you thankful for? Uh, the OG Fortnite season. It's pretty lit. What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for my dog. What are you thankful for? My friends and my family. Um, the ability to get to come to school every day and see my friends. Happy Thanksgiving. There are so many things to be thankful for this year. That's all we have for you this week, PHS. Don't forget that next week we have an early dismissal on Tuesday and school will be closed November 22nd through the 27th. Have a great break and we'll see you on the 28th. <laughs> It's fun to stay at the YMCA. They have everything.